My name is Karen, and I'm addicted to paper trimmers. I'm doing this because my phone's doing this. It's a great day in South Carolina. South Carolina, you mean it? South Carolina. This is Karen with Xanadu News, and welcome to my channel. And you're asking yourself, is there really such a thing as being addicted to paper trimmers? Yes, there is. Well, it's not an addiction so much as trying to find the perfect paper trimmer. And I have gone through plenty to find one, and I think I finally found one. Problem is, it's too big. See? Not the perfect paper trimmer, right? Anyway, I'm going to show you my collection of paper trimmers. Yes, I have a collection. I'm trying to do the speedy because I'm about to sell one of them. Because two of them are very pricey. Well, actually, three of them are very pricey. And <laughs> I will show them to you explain my thinking. But let me show you my collection. This is a, Most of them are fist guards, by the way, but there's a couple that aren't. This is one of them that isn't. This is the We Are Memory Keepers. And this is the older one. <coughs> and it flips open and it has a scoreboard. This is not my favorite, of course. And it does um, have this on the back. <coughs> and the reason it's not my favorite is because it doesn't score accurately, I don't think. It has a tendency to move on you. And you can't tell where the score line is according to the um, ruler. And when you want to use the score line, you have to have this open so your blade is exposed. But I keep this one because I have a box that I like to put goodies in for like traveling to my mom's house. So this does make a good one because it does fold and it's a two-in-one. And it does have a pocket for the um, score thing, but I don't like to use the score thing because it tears the paper. My second one, which is actually in the um, thrift store donation pile, is this one. This is a very, very old one. And it does, it does have an arm. And it's just your basic Fiskars paper trimmer. I mean, there's no... Nothing fancy about it. The next two are the same. There's a funny story why I have two of these. My original one, the metal, this bar was peeling up. So I contacted Fiskars and they said, we will replace it. And then I got another email a day later and it says, thank you for con contacting Fiskars. We will replace it. So I didn't think much of it, but I received one, and then I received a second one. So they sent me two. And both of these have been well loved. As you can tell, the numbers have worn off. I have used both of these thoroughly. I'm thinking about putting these in the donation pile, but there's no ruler at the bottom. They're both very good, except for the numbers have worn off. And this is the replacement for that. I probably could have contacted Fiskars again, and I might just do that to see what they say for a lark. But here's its replacement. It's this one. So there's a clear plastic, so I guess they fixed that issue. Oh, did I demonstrate that this comes out? Oh. Yes. This was probably around $20. I don't remember how much the We Are Memory Keeper was. I probably paid about $15 because I got it on Tuesday morning. And this one was about $30. And the arm comes out. This comes up. And let me see what else to say about it. Okay, let me tell you about the arms. This is one reason why these aren't the perfect ones. With the arms, you miss a couple of numbers. And it's usually a good, like... You get seven and a half, but we're seven and three fourths. And they're all different ranges. So that's one negative about having, I just hit the shelf. Having ones with arms, because you miss, it skips. Show. Let me show you one of my very, 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 very first ones. It's actually one of my most expensive ones. And I even looked online and they still selling this for $70 brand new and it's got like the one of the highest ratings but I don't like it for two reasons 
there's two parts you have to replace on it and it's this one and the part you have to replace is the the blade and you have to replace this I can't this black part and, I, and I'm a dummy I didn't realize you have four opportunities to use it before you throw it away I just don't know why I didn't think of that right now I can't get it out I'm thinking about putting this one in the donation pile, and the only reason it hasn't gone in there is because I have a perforation blade for this. And that's absolutely the only reason. So if I want to perforate something, I can't get that out. I need something thinner. I can change the blade on this, and this uses the um, rotary blades. So that's the only reason why this hasn't made it. And it's one, another reason because I spent so much money on it. Okay. Down to the last two. Oh, by the way, this is Fiskars too, isn't it? I just don't see it. I'm fairly certain this is Fiskars. Even though, yeah, it's Fiskars. Like I said, all of these are Fiskars except for two. Okay, down to the last two. One of these I'm selling. The funny on um, Facebook, and the funny thing is, it's like local DJ, and I did not realize she was a local. She was the local DJ. On a radio station that I would listen to if I listened to the radio, but I don't. So, and it, and they had how I figured out she was a DJ is because they've been posting stuff on Facebook like questions, and I answered one. No, what it was was hooting the blowfish. I'm from Irmo, Lexington, Columbia. It's all tied together. Or it's basically the same. Hooting the blowfish, the music group, is from Columbia, South Carolina. They were so popular that they had three concerts. They they um, scheduled three concerts, and they posted on Facebook um, three ND instead of three RD. I said I never heard of a three ND, and the person responded back autocorrect. I'm like oh man, that's the same person who's buying this thing. <laughs> anyway, I'm going. You're going to figure out which one because I'm going to explain to you why I love both of them and why. I dislike what I dislike about both of them and it's going to be obvious which one I like better over the other one. I'm going to show you both first. The first one is the cutter pillar. Um, this one has a light so you can see where the paper is cutting and it, full, and it runs on this track. This is self sharpening. You never have to change the blade. It has an arm also. And these are over $100, but you can get them on eBay about $70. Both of these two, you can get them at about the same price. And turn it off. Here's the next one. This one that's the, the second non Fiskars. It's called Cutter Pillar. Cutter Pillar. This is the last Fiskars. It's very similar to the Cutter, cutter Pillar. It does not need sharpening. And instead of having the arm, it has folds out but once again you've got that um, issue with the um, numbers missing but so does the cutter pillar with the um, arm missing this one you know this one ain't quite as bad actually this one isn't quite as bad at missing numbers as this course so that's actually a bonus for the cutter pillar and a, another bonus is the cutter pillar has the light the Fiskars does not have the light. The two bonuses together, they never have to be sharpened. There's two blades. I'll show you on the cutter pillar. This is one blade, and then this metal piece is a second blade. And it runs across and it sharpens itself. Okay, here's oops, that part came off. Oops. Let me put back the battery. Compartment, there we go. Why is this not going in? I don't know. There, there it goes. I think. Oops. No. I have to figure that out. There we go. Okay. Pretty much the same. You can get it for the same price. Pretty much it's self sharpening. This the color pillar has the light and the less um um inconsistency when you open up the arm, but. It only has 
the one arm. And this is a big, big difference in between. This one has two. So when you um, run the blade, and I'm going to um, bring it down now so you can see. I've got to, oops, got to drop something. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to pause you and then bring it down. Okay, before I demonstrate, let me show you. The um, Caterpillar does not have this guard while the face guards does. This guard right here, and it does lock. And you can you slide your paper in up to the um, first blade. You can lock it, and you can hold it. Let me get a piece of paper. I'm going to use something I shouldn't. I'll use this. Okay. Here's how it works. Unlock it. Um, when you lock, when you move this up and down, this has to be at the end or at either end because we have divots. You unlock it. You put it in. You line your paper up to the size you want. Put it down. Then you slide across. And boom. Okay. That's the um, Fiskars. Let me show you the um, cutter puller. Open it up. Put your paper up. There is no um, guards or anything. Here is the main difference. This wiggles. You have to hold this and you have to hold this. Boom. Like that. Boom. If you don't hold this, instead, if you, if you go like this, it will, let me see. It will cut. You have to hold it across the bar. Okay. That's the main difference is because the Fiskars has a two and this one has the one. And that makes a difference when you're cutting thicker material. I'm going to demonstrate it on the cheap one. I'll take the cheaper one. I'm going to, I think this should be 12. I'm going to cut this by 11. These actually, okay. Let me, let me explain. This will cut it. The other Fiskars will cut it. The cutter, cutter pillar will not cut it. But when you have use this to cut it, you have to cut it like three times, and I'll show you. Okay. Back and forth. You know, this doesn't cut all the way. You gotta flip it over. Line it back on 11. And then cut. Comes through. There you go. There, cut. Okay. Let me show you the difference with this one. Flip this back up. Now we're going to make it a 10. Put it down, lock it, hold it. Boom. One slice. Now guess which one I'm going to keep because I would show you this one, but the one time I tried to cut this material on this one, this blade ended up sitting on this metal piece. And I think if it had the two bars, it wouldn't have done that because it wouldn't have been able to shift over, which caused it to nick. Which you can see, let's see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Um, can you see that kind of right here? It nicked it right here. That's where it got, it got stuck sitting on that bar. I had to take it apart, push it over, and I thought it um, messed up the blade. After cutting a few times, I think whatever residue was on it went away, and it, it fixed itself. But I, before I did that, I realized that, um, I mean, I contacted Caterpillar, and Color, Caterpillar said to contact Create and Craft, which is where I bought it from. I don't recommend createandcraft.com, by the way, because their customer service stinks. If everything comes in perfectly, then they're fine. They're supposed to be out of the United Kingdom, but nobody has a british accent and nobody has an american accent we call them and there's nothing wrong with that but they don't understand your complaints and they don't help 
Anyway, that's my little don't buy it from Queen Craft. When I contacted Caterpillar, they said that they gave a whole bunch of um, blades to um, Create and Craft for this very reason. And I'm like, ah, oh, man, Create and Craft. And cause that's my response. And the lady or guy responded back. He says, yes, we know about their customer service. And if they give you any problems, contact us. And boy, I was floored. Because they said, you're probably going to have to pay shipping. So I forwarded their email, deleted the shipping the, um, part about paying for shipping, and they actually replaced it. I don't need it now because after I um, played with it a little bit, the residue, that maybe some shavings came off of it, it cuts fine. It just doesn't cut the real thick stuff. Now let me let me tell you what this is. I, I should have told you what this is at the beginning, but I was so excited talking about it. This is map board. I may have said that. Map board is the stuff that they use on framing the, the mats. And Hobby Lobby used to sell this as scrap. Hobby Lobby, please bring it back. And um, they used to send, sell a whole stack of it for like $10. And then they clearanced it and I bought the, all of it. Because it's great for um, bookmaking. It's really thick. And um, so you can use this, but it's, you have to do it like three or four times. You can do this in one pass, and it breaks this one. And this one is supposed to be thick material. So, yes, this one's being sold. I paid like 70 some dollars, and I'm selling it for 20 It does everything else that it says it's going to do, and she's got the extra blades to go with it. Well, I hope if you have any questions about any of the machines, Please leave them in the comment section below. You know what? These are going to go in the, um, the thrift store. Cause I don't know. I'm going to email Fiskers because that should not have wore off. That was a replacement. So it's going to be a replacement for a replacement. But I probably won't ask for two. <laughs> I won't, well, I won't say that I won't ask. I won't tell them about two. Anyway, I'm babbling. I've got to meet the lady at the library. I've got to get the book that I want is called Lethal White or White Lethalist by the J.K. Rawlings, but it was her, it's her um, pen name, something Gareth, Robert, I, I don't know. I got it on hold. I have a digital, but it's about to expire on Sunday, and they had the actual book in, um, in stock, so I could hold on it. Oh, I'm going to go pick it up. So, sorry about my voice, I just had major coughing gigs coughing issue and I cut that part out so so stay calm and trim paper on <laughs>